Hi friends! So I'm supposed to be on a buying ban, project tin pan kind of thing until I leave for Christmas break because I'm at school now if you haven't seen my other video, but a Sally's Beauty Supply opened in my town and we didn't have anything like that at all. We didn't have an Ulta. Of course there's no malls, it's a really tiny town. We just had like Walgreens and Walmart and stuff like that. So I had to visit Sally's and that happened. Then I'm watching a lot of YouTube, so there's a couple things I kind of had to pick up at Walgreens. So I went to Sally's and it was really cool. The thing that I liked the most there was um, their nail polish. They had a pretty good selection. They had China Glaze, which I really like China Glaze. Nail polishes were a dollar off. And so they were five dollars instead of six, I think is what they usually are. And I have a lot of nail polish, so I really didn't need any, but they were on sale, so I bought two. <laughs> First one I got was Exceptionally Gifted, and my lighting's awful right now, I'm sorry I have to do something about it. But it's this, it's a light pink, like a baby pink, but what I really like about it, it has like kind of a pearly sheen to it. I just thought it was really unique. It wasn't like anything I have or anything they had there. On my fingers is um, China Glaze for Audrey, which they also had there. If you're watching this and you live in my town and you liked my nail polish, because a lot of people said they did, they have this polish there as well. I thought this color was, this is the other color I got. I thought this was really cool. It's turned up turquoise and on here it's coming off as just a blue, but it's a, it's a lot more green, but it's a neon and those don't ever show up well on camera. And if you look at it, it has kind of like little shimmery flecks in it. I don't know, it's gonna be really cool. I'm really looking forward to wearing this. Like see, it looks like a darker version of my nail polish in here, but it's like completely greener and different. So I looked at the store and they had a bunch of hair stuff and a bunch of stuff for professional hairdressers and things like that, but the only other thing that I saw that really intrigued me was something that I've seen. Somebody I subscribed to, Ava Chris One, I think is her name. Um, she talked about these a while ago. I think it was like May or June, and she talked about these. I saw them and I was like, oh yeah, she loved these eyeshadows. So I wanted to pick one up because I, I know she raved about them. They were like a dollar or something. They were really cheap. It's this Sally Girl Baked Eyeshadow. Do, do, do. And this one, I don't think it has a name, but it's just a shimmery silver, which is a color I really like to use. So I thought I could definitely use another one. So I thought, why not? I did, I swatched it earlier and like, it's really hard. And I have to rub really hard to get anything off. But it's just like a silver and then it looks kind of sheer. See, it's just that like shimmery bit there. It looks kind of sheer when I swatch it. So. I don't have really high hopes, but again, it was a dollar, and that's, that's another YouTube made me do it kind of thing. My whole life is a YouTube made me do it kind of thing. So then I went to Walgreens. One thing I knew I needed was the EOS lip balm, which I haven't been able to find anywhere, but I asked, I asked one of the ladies at the counter, and she pointed me in the right direction, and sure enough, EOS lip balm. Okay, if you haven't seen these before, it's a lip balm in this like spherical kind of container. And they're just really kind of fun and gimmicky. The lip balm isn't that great. I've, I've tried it and not my fave, but I mean, it'll be really cool just to stick in my purse. Cause like, if I need a lip balm, I'm surely gonna be able to find this. Cause it's like a ball. They come in several different scents. My Walgreens only had, they had a whole bunch of the pink like summer fruit or whatever it's called. They had a whole bunch of those. And this is like the honeydew scent. It's like a really light green. I know you can't see that. And it like unscrews. And this is the lip balm. It's this really big ball. <laughs> see, it's like really fun and gimmicky and everyone's been talking about them on here. So I knew I needed one. But I know, I just felt like I needed one because I felt like everyone on here had them. So yeah, Evolution of Smooth EOS Lip Balm. It's it's a decent lip balm. It's not my fave. Maybe it'll grow on me. I'll, I'll keep using it. I'll keep it here at my desk. Then, 
a lot of people have been making mascara videos lately. I don't know why that is. I guess like a few people did, like bigger YouTubers, not everyone else is kind of inspired to. I don't, I don't really know what that's about, but I feel like I've watched a lot of them lately. And one mascara that everyone on here loves, like everyone I know in real life has this mascara. Backstory, I usually don't like drugstore mascaras, but for some reason I decided to try this one because everyone loved it. It's this one in the orange tube. It's Lash Blast Volume by CoverGirl. I know you've probably seen this. It's got, okay, the, the wand is like thick and chunky. I, okay, I like mascaras with a big wand, but with like big bristles and everything, give you lots of volume, cover all your lashes and stuff like that. But this has like itty bitty bristles. It's this big fat wand, itty bitty bristles, and like on the tip, they're like teeny tiny bristles and it's like really flat at the tip and I, I did put this on like I'm sort of wearing it right now over something else but anyway I'm putting I put it on over what I already had on so it's not really accurate but the problem that I thought I was gonna have with this and that I've already found that I have is that it's really hard to get like the little lashes like here and out here like on the edges of your eyes because there's not like a little tip that really gets in there really well. I think I'm gonna like this okay. It's so far it's better than any other drugstore mascara I've tried but again that's not really saying a whole lot. Okay so that's my haul. That's not too bad right? I'm gonna I'm gonna really try not to buy any more stuff until Christmas except I kind of need wax tarts for my tart warmer so might have to visit candles by victoria on online i don't, I don't know i because i've wanted to for a while but i just haven't and i could really use some scent shots so anyway I hope you guys are doing well. If you're on Project Tin Pan, I hope you're doing better than me. Resist temptation. Don't be like me. Um, get off of YouTube right now. They'll make you buy things, I swear. All right, I hope you guys are doing really well. I'll talk to you later. Bye.